<laughs> Jalen, tell us about your Fab Five trades of all time. My Who are Fab they? Five trades, you can't be a Fab Five trader. Actually, you get a guy and win a title. So number five, I'm going Minnesota Timberwolves trade. Kevin Garnett to the Boston Celtics, and the Celtics go on to win the championship. Not only do they get KG, but it opens up the door for Ray Allen as well. So Celtics fans were rejoicing by that trade. Number four, the Los Angeles Lakers duped the Hornets. I know Jerry Weston right? West didn't want to say it, but I'll say it for him. Number three, Scottie Pippen. The last time I checked, he's one of the top 50 players of all time, and he won six rings. Michael Jordan never won a ring without Scottie Pippen. Number three, Shaquille, number two, Shaquille O'Neal. By the way, this worked out for both teams. You know why? Shaq won the title in, in, with the Miami Heat, but Lamar Odom won the title with the Lakers. And number one, the best winner of all time on every level. Here's a guy that has six NBA titles, three NCAA titles, four high school championships, and five MVPs. The Cappy 10. Kareem was pretty motivated to get out of Milwaukee, with all due respect to the city of Milwaukee, right? I want to mention, too, I, I can't put anything above those trades. You, you're talking about legends. But how about Rasheed Wallace going to Detroit in 2004? I mean, for, for virtually yeah, nothing. Got, a that, got Detroit the title. And then the great Jerry West, who we talked to earlier, Pal Gasol goes to the Lakers, and they help, help them get a title. But the forgotten aspect to that Kobe Bryant from Charlotte to the Lakers is that move is also done to help create the salary cap space to shine Shaquille O'Neal. So not only do you get Kobe, you get Shaq out of the deal, a great two for one. Anyone remember Michael Thompson from Portland to the Lakers back in the late 80s? Peter Goodmanson. There you go. Should have asked Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> that right, was Jerry's deal, wasn't it?